Hello, what's up guys, and welcome back to yet another 6 p.m., 4 p.m., 1 p.m. FIFA 22 content video. Now today um, is Team of the Week 2. That's really all we have with 6 p.m. content videos for now until, well I say for now, until Friday. Um, and then I assume we're going to be getting a little bit of a something every day and we can get onto the grind of these 6 p.m. content videos again. But um, you can check objectives real quick just to make sure there is not anything in here. I don't think we have a Silver Stars player this week, which is a little bit like annoying. Um, I don't really know why we haven't had one yet. Um, but it's fine. We move. Yeah, nothing in there. Nothing in there. Um, but yeah, we can head over to news now and go to item releases. Never mind. It's not going to be there. Um, so we will just go over here to play, head over to squad battles, and go take a look at these guards. So here we go, team of the week. Yep. No, no, oh my, they put on me. Oh, actually, that gives me a little time to say this. Of course, I put good terms in SBC. Um, but um, yeah, the reason these 6 p.m. content videos come out like around four and stuff is because I got school now. Um, last year I was all remote, so I was able to like do like these videos here, but I have to go into school. Um, yeah, so these videos have to be delayed until like three, four, five, anywhere in between there, just depending on the day. Um, but yeah, we'll head over here now to squad battles again because I keep just like thinking of other stuff and losing my train of thought when it comes to this. But team of the week this week does look very good. We'll start off from the top to bottom. We have a four-star, four-star, Kareem Benzema here. And if you know me, I love Kareem Benzema in FIFA, especially last year. Him as my attacking mid at a cam in a 4-1-2-1-2, absolutely world-class. This FIFA, him as a striker, will probably be absolutely world-class because you want a striker with good finishing. And he has a bit of pace to him, too. That's the thing. So, I really think this card is worth it. Um, what is his price however um you know, it'll be great it'll be great it'll be great it'll be great it'll be great, it'll be, it'll be, it would be great if i was able to look at that but you know you can't a seam head we can go and flip it out there looks very good three star four star decent all-around stats if you pack them it'll be a good decent card for you um the dribbling's fine for the start pace class shooting class composure a little bit low however great physical stats so that is an advantage with the strength and stuff gabriel jesus i assume he'll be very very good if he was four star four star he'd be such a good card uh passing's okay i guess shooting's decent pace very very good dribbling very very good and physical stats pretty decent that card looks very good um felipe anderson another one four star four star as you can see from the stats looks very nice the finishing is a bit low however he does have good composure so that's a little bit of a plus sign to that 80 interceptions uh, i was gonna say you could get away with playing this card center mid but that's a little bit of a stretch stamina aggression strength is okay decent card there christopher and kunku decent center mid for you if you play him if you again if you're going to be playing like a 4 one 2 and 2 a 4 2 2 2 he could definitely get away with playing like a left center mid roll or an attacking mid roll one of those formations in my opinion 4 4 2 4 2 2 2 and the 4 1 2 and 2 are the best formations in FIFA 22 so yeah that's what i would say for that this is one of the best cards in here nicolo barea Look at that. He's a center mid. 5'8", 3'3". That, I mean, that's not the best, but... Very good all-around stats here. 100% usable player. I don't really need to say more about this card. He looks absolutely class. Dennis Sicario. This is a card that I feel could be around until, like, the December time. I really do. Um, he is 6'3". 3 star, 3 star. He's a CDM. Insane strength. Great defending. Decent dribbling stats. Passing is good and pace is good. This card, I feel like, could be around for a very, very long time. A very, very long time. Um, we have, don't need to talk about that, swiftly move on. Sergio Dest, 
four star, four star left back, that's always good. Um, and he's on the left hand, and he's on the left hand side, so that's a plus as well. Physicals, defending, dribbling, passing, and pace. I mean, the defending and physical stats are very low. That that really lets him down for being like a decent like informed starter left back. The defending stats are just too low, in my opinion. Ah, uh, yeah. Jesus Navas, good defending stats, 42 strength. It's just so bad. It, it, it's just so bad. You never want to see 42 strength, especially with a fullback this year, especially with strength playing such a big role in the game. That is not good enough. Maybe, maybe two star weak foot too. See, I, you can't play him center mid. That, that's a little bit of a stretch as it is, but you can't play him center mid with a two-star weak foot. I don't know about that one. Lucas Rodecki, I don't really need to talk about it. It's just, yeah. Courtney House. Fofana. Fofana's a decent one. Three-star, four-star. Pretty good all-around stats for a center mid CDM, whichever you prefer. Um, again, this card is a CDM and a 4-2-2-2 or a 4-2-2. Very, very good. Just look at that. Stats great all-round. Is there like a very, like a very big negative to this guard? He's six one as well. I guess the jumping and heading accuracy is a little bit of like a struggle, but six six one. That's not too bad. Emil Smith Rowe. I mean, I say, oh yeah, he's decent stats. I think in past FIFA's this card would be so good at the beginning of the game, but you know when you're when players like poor two are eight hundred coins, it just yeah it completely disregards that now. And yeah, I don't think we have anything else. Brereton maybe as a super sub. But I think that's going to be it. Lapadula does not have the pace as his summer stars did last FIFA. But yeah, that's it. So we will head over to Footbin now. Let's let me get it up real quick. Yep, there we go. Let's head over here and let's do that. So, let's go to current team of the week and check out the like ideal ones that I've been talking about. So we'll check for Fauna first 13k not too bad uh, if you i don't think you should spend your coins on them but if you pack them it'll be a useful card for you. all right dennis sicaria yeah he's holding a 91k price tag at the moment and you can see why engine on this card i think is the play boom 100 percent the play on this card 100 percent be a cdm it's not gonna be in the shooting positions much 100 percent recommend engine on Dennis Zakaria. Now, Nkuku, I'll also include in here, 56k, so he is holding a little bit of a price tag. Obviously, all these cards are going to be boosted up in price right now because the team league just came out, so just keep that in mind. Um, shooting, pace, I think are two major things he needs to get upgraded. We could do a Hawk. A Hawk could work. A Hawk could work with that. Um, boosting those physical stats up a bit. I think Hawk's the play on Nkunku, 100%. Just boost those physical stats up a bit, as you can see right there. Shooting stats up a bit, and pace stats up a bit as well. Very ideal there. I think that is the play for the Nkunku. Kareem Benzema now. Um, pace. You want to upgrade the pace here, and you also want to get that agility balance up a bit. So, keeping that in mind, where is my engine? The one we always go to. Shooting's plenty. Passing, I guess that's upgrade, but that's dribbling, 94. Boosting up to 85 and 83, that's very, very good. Pace up to 82. You could put a Hunter on him, uh, wherever Hunter is right there. You could do that, but I think Engine is the better call in my opinion. 170k. Yep. I mean, we expect that. Um, Green Man's about. Okay, we'll do a Seam Head next, and then Gabi Jesus and Nicolo Berea. He's sitting at a 67k price tag right now. Um, again, Engine on this card. It's just... You need to get agility and balance, especially with a player this tall, 6'1". If he has good agility and balance and all that in this game, you see how good like the Hollands are and stuff. That's a big deal. So I think Engine, once again, he has the strength and all that. He's a striker, so he does not need defending, obviously. Um, Gabriel Jesus. Okay, there we go. 227,000 coins. Very expensive. Um, is he worth that price? don't think so. I feel like you can easily get a card that will be on par with this, like, at the beginning of the game. I don't think he's, 
this really makes too much of a difference. Um, three star weak foot two, if you use four star, four star, maybe I understand the price a little bit more. Um, but that weak foot lets him down, especially being a striker. Um, if we were to put a chem style on him though, we, he does need passing and physical. Now, we could do a marksman, which will boost the dribbling, shooting, and physicals. That is an option. Or we could do an artist, powerhouse, don't want a powerhouse, maestro. Many could work. Basic, I think, could be the play, actually. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Could be the play. Could be the play. Nicola Barea, this is the last one we're going to review in this video. As you can see, 124K. I think he will go down a little bit. Um, what does he need? I think he just needs a basic. I think he just needs a basic to boost all the stats even more. 86, 83, 82, 92, 83, and 76. What a card. Like, honestly, what a card. What a card. I, I, yeah. Wow. That's very good. I don't really know what more to say. He's 5'9 on the footpin. 5'8 when we checked on him with FIFA. Okay. Alright, but that's going to be the video. Uh, okay, we'll, we'll check out Felipe Anderson real quick. Um, you see, this is it. Felipe Anderson is 65K. And yes, he doesn't have the shooting that Gabriel Jesus does. But this is what I'm talking about. Even though he's 65K, there's other players that are cheaper even than this Felipe Anderson. It, uh, I don't really get it. Marksman on this card. I think it's the play. Boost all this up a bit. Shooting up a lot to 85. Finishing. Jumping up. Strength up. Marksman's the play in my opinion. If you guys did enjoy this video, leave a like, comment, all that kind of good stuff. Very much appreciated. And I'll catch you in the next one. Most likely, actually tomorrow. Because it's marquee matchups. We might get something else. So I'll probably see you for their 6 p.m. content tomorrow. If not, we will 100% have a No Pukino Party RTG. I'll see you then.